I tolerate certain things, and believe me, I, I know the nature of the business that fuels this town, you know. Violence goes in the territory, but not this. You were supposed to be protecting us and this town. You screwed up. You screwed it up for everybody. Can I trust you? Get in here. Think, think, think of what people in this town have done to you. You don't they think I know what they've done to me? No one knows better than me. They raped me. They put a dead man's body in my bed. They kidnapped my child and they put him in a box in the ground. What else are they going to do to me? Kill me? That is, as far as I know, it's just a piece of the timer for the grow light. Don't make me get out the gun and bang your head against the wall and all that shit, because I will do just that. I'll open it. Finally saw your mom's name. What happened? One of the names on the ledger was my was my mom. She's uh she's been dead 22 years. Suicide. And my dad, he he was the one who set up the trust. I'm so sorry, Alex. me. I think you know her, Alex, but you don't. I found out a few things, like how she was screwing your deputy, and that he ended up dying on her property, but the police report says that you killed him in self-defense. Her son, Norman, killed his father. Apparently, he blacks out and gets violent, and she lied and said it was an accident. She's using you to protect herself and her family. Do you remember the first time that I, I talked to you on this porch? Or not? Kind of funny because you were standing right over there and, and you were lying to me. And... What are you talking about? Carl Dabble at the DA. I understand that you were upset with me, but I, all I can tell you is just try living in my shoes for a week. Be hey, careful who you get things to. And we're done talking about anything. We got a big day Everyone clear on your assignment? I am sorry that, that I couldn't protect you. If I could change that, I would, but I can't. It's, just, it's done. It's in motion. It's not your fault. I found myself wondering, why was I the only guy not benefiting from all the money floating around this town? I mean, we can pretend to be someone else. Right now, you are more like your dad than you ever have been. I need insurance. 
You have insurance. So I thought maybe you could marry me. We are gathered here to join this man and this woman in matrimony, which is an honorable estate and is not to be entered into lightly, but with great reverence and discretion. From this day forward, you will belong entirely to each other. It's weird how people aren't at all together and then all of a sudden they are. I wish we could just erase all the bad things that have happened. I think they're gonna talk to me now. What? Don't you think she deserves to have a man in her life? I don't feel safe leaving you alone with him. That's ridiculous. How dare you go behind my back to my own son to try and get Norman taken away from me? Someone who loves you and is worried about you and Norman. That's nice that that's how you frame it in your head, but how it looks from here is that you are an incredibly presumptuous and arrogant man who thinks he knows what's best for me and my son. I will never trust you again. Well, you left me no choice. You left me none. We were happy when we were in a bubble, but life is in a bubble. You know, the second that a little reality crept in, that was it for you. Norma! What's he doing here? 
Did she kill herself? No. And you know who did kill her? Or you think you do? I'm gonna take care of her. Why should I tell you where she is if you're only gonna kill me anyway? Piece of shit. I don't know what kind of sick fuck digs his mother's body out of a grave and moves it around. And I don't want to know that for what he did to her. All I can tell you is that we should shoot once I find her and make it quick and clean. Or I can make her suffer for days. And believe me, I got ideas. I'm so sorry for everything you did. I know how much you loved me. We're all doomed in the end, right? You killed your own mother.